All right, so let's start from uh, question five from the year 2016. Okay, so for part A, you are required to redraw the graph so that it's shown as a planar graph, meaning no edges supposed to be crossed over each other. So when you try to look at part one, okay, so you can see that basically these are the parts that you have your edges cross over each other. So that's why uh, it is quite obvious that you can see that as long as you move AC outwards, okay, then all your crossing over will be soft. So in this case, then you redraw your FC, then you will be able to get one mark for this question. Okay, then part two, okay, when you try to look at this, so same thing, you will be having like different parts that your age cross over each other. Okay, so you can see that no matter which one you choose to move, you will need to move like two ages out. So either you can move AE and also BE, all right? So this is one of the way, which is what I do, uh, what I did for the answer here. Okay, so the other way that you can like alternatively, the other way that you can try to do is also to move FD outside. Okay, then after that, when you move FD outside, then this two is already solved. So that's why you only need to move AD outside now. Okay, so this is the other way. All right, so both will be acceptable. So depends on which one is your preference. So you move two of the edges out, then you will be able to get a planar graph. So that's how you get the two marks. So question three, so same thing, you can see that these are all the different location that is crossed over each other. Okay, so of course you can see that if let's say you choose to move BE and also FB outside, so which mean what I did here for the answer, okay? So as long as you move these two edges out, then you will be able to solve all the crossing over. So, but then if let's say you have the other way around that, you know, maybe you realize that uh, you are moving into the other. So which mean in this case, then you need to move three of the edges. So when you move GD outside, then these two are soft. Then you also need to move GC outside, right? Then these two are soft. So you still left with these two, then you need to move AC outside as well, okay? So in this case, then you will need to move three edges lah, but since uh, it is not restricted in this question that like how many edges suppose you should move it out. So that's why uh, either one answer will be fine because both will be like a planar graph, right? So uh, if you successfully get a planar graph, then you get a two marks here as well, okay? Then after that, let's look at part B. So verify the Euler's rule. So uh, the only thing that you need to be careful for Euler's rule is that it only apply for all the graphs that you have redrawn it, okay? So which means that you cannot do it on the original graph. You must have it for your the graph that you have already redrawn. So that's why when you look at part A1, okay, so let me do it here, then uh, cut to the other side. So the number of vertices, I have A, B, C, D, E, F. So that's why six. So number of ages. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten ages. And after that, for faces, then I have one, two, three, four, five, and then six outside. Okay, so remember that every time when you are asked to you know verify Euler's formula then the first thing that you do is count the number of vertices the number of ages and number of faces first okay so you remember that when you are verifying the Euler's rule don't straight away write equals to zero so you must make sure that equal to then you substitute the number that you have got just now oops sorry minus 10 okay then you are the one that need to show them you are getting to. So don't straight away write like the whole equation equals to two here. So you successfully get the number of phases, ages, and also varices, you get one mark. So for your order working, verify your Euler rule, you get your second mark. So this is how the two marks here is given. Okay, then after that, let's look at C. So one of the planar graph here is semi eulerian So state which graph it did then after that, give a reason for your, your choice. Okay, so for semi eulerian graph, we know that we need to check the uh, degree for your vertices. So the one that having two odd vertices will be classified as, as a semi eulerian Okay, so let me try to just cancel off all my working here. 
Okay, so for this question, actually, no matter you are looking at the one before you redrawn or after you redrawn, they're supposed to give you the same answer because your adjacency should be the same even when you redraw it as the planet graph. So it doesn't quite matter like which one you are looking at. But if you were to ask me, then I would say that looking at the original one is safer because uh, just in case, right, you draw anything wrong when you try to redraw the graph, then uh, you know the, the error will be just carried forward for the next question. So that's why I try to just look at the original graph, then do that will be you know much easier. Okay, so when you try to look at the first one, then this is three, 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 three. So obviously you have more than two of vertices already. Then part two, you have three here. This is even, even. This is also three. This is one, two, three, four, five. So five, oh, sorry. That is four. Okay, so this is even also. Then for C is two. Okay, so graph two seems to be like a good, uh, it seems to be like a semi or layering graph. Then we check question three. So that's why this is degree three. Here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. Here's one, two, three. Okay, so you have more than two of voices as well. Huh? But before you make sure you just try to check through all the other, is it make sure that it's all even? Okay. So yeah, you can see that you check all the vertices. So FD is the only one that having a uh, even uh, odd vertices. So that's why graph two. So the question asks you to justify your choice, then you're going to link it to how do you check just now? So the graph has two odd vertices. Okay, so that's how you answer this question. So successfully get that uh, graph two is a semi or when you get one mark. So the graph has two odd vertices, then you get one mark. Okay, all right. So that's it for the first question here.